All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever seen any of these survival shows before, like Dual Survival, Survivor Man, anything like that, whenever they're making a fire, they usually use two methods to make fire. They usually use, either use a ferrocium rod like this, where they can throw sparks, or they'll use some form of friction fire, whether it's a bow drill or a hand drill or something along those lines, but they all make it look easy. So in today's video, what I want to test is how hard is it really to make friction fire? Okay, so to show the differences between the two, first we're going to start a fire with a ferrocium rod. I just have a little piece of tinder resting on this brick. I have a ferrocium rod. And just like that, you have fire. Now you can see as long as you have dry tinder, that is very fast and very easy. And now we're going to go on to the bow drill and we're going to see how hard it really is to make a friction fire. I have some tinder right here, just like last time. And keep in mind that this is all under perfect conditions because I have a pre-made bow drill that has a separate handle that moves that also has bearings on it. Everything is dry. My fireboard is clamped down to a table. So everything, this is all perfect conditions. And we're gonna see how hard it is under perfect conditions. So if it's extremely hard under perfect conditions, you know it's gonna be hard out in the woods. So, so far what my plan is, is I'm just going to put this tender bundle right here and then I'm going to use this spot on the fireboard and then hopefully once I get an ember then I can just use my knife and kind of flick it out into my tender bundle but we'll see how it gets. So let's just get this right here. Hot. All right, now that I've shed a layer, let's get back into it. Oh, the rope broke. Just as we were starting to get smoke. Ugh. And we're back. So, since the rope broke, what I did was I took a piece of this conduit and then just drilled a hole at either end and then, I don't know if you can see it, and then put a piece of paracord through here and then wound it across our wooden rod. And this way, and of course that bow had to break just as soon as we were starting to get some smoke. So now I have a longer stroke and we should be able to make fire a little bit faster. So here we go for try number two. I think we made it all the way, I think we went all the way through the table. <laughs> well, I didn't get an ember, but I definitely got a nice little hole in my table. You can see, I just drilled right through the wood. So that kind of sucks. Okay, so since using a bow drill failed, I'm just gonna say, screw that. I'm not gonna do it the traditional way. I'm gonna do it my way. So we don't need this. We don't need any of it. We're just going to use an actual drill. We'll just chuck this up onto our wood or onto our dowel rod. And we'll make a friction fire this way. Still no embers. No signs of fire, even with power drills. Well, there 
there's st there's still nothing. So I'm gonna switch. Maybe try this. Still not a single ember. All right, I'm gonna go for one last attempt because I'm sure there's somebody watching that does this the normal way and it's probably easy and they're probably absolutely dying on the inside watching me struggle with this. So I'm gonna give it one last try. The tip of this was getting pretty sharp so I made it more dull. I'm hoping that'll help and keep it from just burning through the wood so fast. So here. I think this one drilled through the wood too. Yeah, this burned all the way through the brick. So it turns out friction fire is not for me. Well, this video turned into a complete dumpster fire really quick. This didn't go any way that I expected it to go or any way that I had planned for it to go. So what we've learned is that friction fire is much harder than I thought it was. And if you want to start a fire, use a blowtorch. It's much easier and it's much faster. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.